first things first, let me give a shout out to one of my brother from another, King AK-47. But also, let me give a shout out to 1090 Jake and Lil Boosie. Turn on that bell, subscribe, turn on that bell to subscribe so you can stay notified. So, if you're still wondering if your man Gun is a snitch, I gotta ask you this question. If we ride in the car and we get caught with something in the car illegally and you said that ain't mine, you know, boom. That's it. If you say, I don't know nothing about that, but whatever. Not only that, part of the reason why it's so important to note that he told was because of this simple thing. You admitted that YSL is a gang, but he's not the first one. He's the third one. Let's get on with who people think is the first one, which actually isn't. But he got the same plea deal that Gunna got, but a little worse. And that was just a couple of days ago. Let's ride. Now, I know what a lot of y'all thinking, bro. He just did a year, 10 years probation. Well, they'll let him off in five years if he can commit. I mean, commit. Can complete his community service and everything like that. But he's going to show up to trial. It's in there. It says that he cannot have contact with anybody that's a part of the gang or anything like that. So on and so forth. So Buddy basically just got a year and five years probation. Not 10. They say 10, but if you look on the page, that's what it is. But he's the second person to admit that YSL is a gang. Y'all want to know the first one? A little Buddy named Say Trip. Set Trip, pardon me. Jaden Myrick. <laughs> Two gang members have been sentenced to life without parole for a deadly armed robbery at a DeKalb County gas station. A jury found Cordarius Dorsey and Quintavious Jackson guilty for shooting and killing a husband and father of six. It happened in 2019 at a gas station in Gresham Park. The DeKalb County District Attorney says Dorsey is associated with Slaughter Gang and Young Slime Life, and Jackson is also associated with the Slaughter Gang. So about a month ago, you had the first person, yeah, a month ago, you had the first person admit that YSL is a gang. Then you had Set Trip earlier this week. Then you had your boy, Gunner. Now, let me give Gunner this right here. And this would, this would convince me that Gunner is not a rat. If Gunner somehow got permission, and you know lawyers speak through lawyers, if Gunner got permission to go ahead and basically run it as his own company, meaning YSL, the record label, because that was one of the things that I noticed is that Gunna admitted that YSL is a record label and a gang. So that means that they don't have to disband or anything about YSL. So let me give him that full credit right there. I'll reach out to some of his people if you want to speak. I doubt he would. I wouldn't. You know, especially with the court case going on and stuff like that. But if you want to talk after that and everything, then that's cool. And Young Thug might plead out today. It's very possible, bro. I don't like the way that suit look and everything like that. And that looked like one of those, this is the last time you're going to see me photos. But either way that go. So it could have been at Young Thug's discretion to tell my man, Gunner, hey, bro, this dude already snitched. This dude already snitched. My lawyer's getting back to me that there's a lot of proffers going on, that people is getting ready to testify. Get out of here. Save the money up, man. Just look out for me. Look out for my family and everything. I give you my blessing and everything like that. So he could come out and say that. Or Gunner could do something more gangster. What you mean more gangster? Gunner could have just used these cats as pawns. Gunner could have used the, the district attorney and everything as pawns and went, it's about to be the holidays. We're not going to trial until March. Let me get all my other affairs in order and sit it down for three years. Gunner could come into the court in March and destroy everything. He could do that. Because one of the things he said was he said he had knowledge that one of the gangs, I mean, that some of the members of the gangs were committing crimes. But he also knows that he can't tell on himself, meaning he could plead the fifth on stuff that incriminate him, so they won't ask him questions. But he will have to say something about them. 
So Gunner could walk in there, bro, and then everybody would owe that man an apology. Now, if he does that, hey, that's the most gangster stuff and the smartest thing I've seen in a while. I still don't like the way it looked. And that's cool. Cuz probably took that bullet for that. So it's very possible he did that. Possible. Do I believe it? I have no idea. I'm not talking to Cuz. I don't talk to his people or anything like that. So it is what it is. Do I know some people up over there? Yeah, I know everybody, bro. So it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, Jaden Myrick, set trip was the one who set this whole thing in motion. He just got life this week. So when people were talking about Gunner was the first one, he wasn't the first one. And I feel boosty because, bro, it bothered me. It bothered me and my bros that Gunner snitched. Because no matter how you slice it and dice it, that's snitching. Now, if he was directed to do that, to save the company, to save the millions and everything like that, bro, that's cool. I ain't tripping on that. But we got to wait and see. But like I said, Thug is in court, so I'll give y'all an update on that. But I got another update for y'all that's going to throw y'all off. Your man's actually got the $100,000 bond. Crazy. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street of Music, Setty Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video.